Hello and welcome to my channel. What have I got for you today? Well it's a slow stitch bookie thing. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like a journal. I think it was a case of how much can I get on one book or one sheet of paper or you know the as in one page. I didn't seem to know when to stop but hey I was having fun. That's what it's about isn't it? So how does this one go? Well it's sheets of um, a wadding. Then you put all your bits on. Well you put some of your bits on. Pin them down. Tack them on. Take your pins out. And then you can slow stitch things on. So you've got crosses there and you've got diagonal ones and long ones and different colours. That was over a piece of wool. And then I obviously stick more on. And we've got bows. We've got flowers. We've got like yo-yos. They are. We've got lace clusters and buttons. Everything on it. I'm just wondering if I'm not holding that upside down. Because the but the... How about that? Bows looked upside down. So we're going to go back to front this time. Because <laughs> I've got it up the wrong way. I put lace around the edges afterwards. I thought we just finished it off nice. Now it is quite big. And it is very full, as I said. What have we got on this one? If I can hold it for you. So, we've got lace. Flowers. Bows, lots of slow stitching. You've got bits of wedding dresses, isn't it? Is it broidery on glaze? That seems to come to mind, but I'm not sure. We've got clusters. I've covered up the middles because I didn't like the middles, didn't want those showing. This bit here was a bit I'd done in another video, and it was a case of. Um, you put all your rubbish onto the sheet. You put some organza material on top. Pin it gently. Then you run it through your machine and it catches it all. And it makes a new piece of material that's rather interesting. I think I've done that in a different video for you. What we got on this one's? Well, there's plain bits. Yo-yos, lace, clusters. Oh, that was a crocheted bit. Like a crochet flower. Thought he can go on there. These were, um, are they snippets? Is that what they're called? They go on to like a snippet roll if you want to. But they were just little clusters of materials and lace put together singly as a cluster, then transferred onto the pages here. All sorts of materials and colours and you name it, I've got it. There's even badge on this one, look. Oh, we got season's greetings. Oh my goodness. Not yet, Lynn. Um, we got lace and buttons. You just, you can see again that where there might have been one piece done, there are also clusters done. And on there, it's pretty pink. Lace round again. This side, more of the same. Just different colours. It's all slow stitched. Oh, there's an actual cross one there. Cross stitch. There's some more cross stitch down there. As I said, they're all separate clusters added onto the book pages. That's going to come out. Bits of crochet, lace, buttons, wool, as I said, and then I've stitched over that. There is a name escapes me but there is a name for doing over wool buttons used lots of these yo-yos didn't i obviously had a batch of those to use but it's the pretties i like actually i like the pinky stuff i'm not really a pinky girly person but i do like to see pinky girly stuff and we've got our last page which we thought was up the other way 
bit of lace on there fits down there lace or oh, more wool caught in that one and that if you open him up that way I've also done another panel as I say down the middles because I I didn't want to see the actual pages now I realize <laughs> that they don't all match they're not all the same size and shape but I'm not really bothered it was the making of it not the total outcome it was the fun I was having actually doing it and as I said I just didn't know when to stop I mean I could still add things to it now I could add beads to it and more bits of lace or but I mustn't because there's always something else to do isn't there can't totally overdo it but I thought I'd share this with you so you can just see what I get up to in my time my spare time I sit here and I'll watch YouTube channels and videos just to see what's new and while I'm watching I'm sewing multitasking so there you go so I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of my rather chunky strange slow stitching everything else booklet there you go you know what's coming it's do give a thumbs up do subscribe you never know what i'm going to bring you do you next and uh, you stay safe and you take care and it's bye bye for now